Welcome to your eye explore for today. Today your eye explore is just a really quick video to briefly introduce you to the idea of a summary versus a critique. So a summary um, and a critique both address a piece of writing that you've read, maybe a text like a story or a piece of poetry or an informational text. They do very different things to that text. So an informational summary provides an overview or outline of expository informational piece of writing. It includes the controlling idea of the piece as well as an important main ideas from each section of the text. Summaries do not include opinions about a text or details. So an informational summary addresses an informational piece of writing, such as an expository piece that's explaining about something or a descriptive piece that describes something. And here's an example of an expository summary from a short article. Many species yawn, but the purpose of yawning is still unknown. It is also unclear why yawning serves the purpose of cooling the brain or body or expressing empathy or further studies are needed before yawning can be fully understood. So that is a sample or an example of an expository summary. It talks about the main ideas and the important parts of an expository piece of writing. Now, a literary summary, although it is a summary, it's very different from an expository summary. So a literary summary provides an outline of a literary text or piece of poetry. It includes the controlling images or theme of the text, as well as any important realization made by the speaker or the resolution of the conflict if the piece is a fictional story. Summaries do not include opinions about the text or details. So a literary summary, it has a very different purpose than an informational summary. A literary summary talks about the feeling of the piece, perhaps the theme of a poem, or the controlling images of a poem. So it really addresses the message that the piece shares rather than just the main idea. So informational summary has main ideas. Literary summary has message. Here's an example of a literary summary over the three little pigs. Three brother pigs left home and each built a new house out of a different material, some strong and some weak. The brother pigs were each attacked by a wolf. Two of the pigs were eaten, but the third pig was saved because his home was the strongest. And this last sentence here, this is really the message, the third pig was saved because the, his home was the strongest. So it has a really different feel. Um, the literary summary has a very different feel than expository summary. And you can compare the two and kind of see the difference. And then we shift to a critique. And a critique is not a summary at all. It's very, very different from a summary. It's a response to a piece of writing that presents presents your opinion about the text. So whenever you're writing critique, the author is arguing that which whether they agree with the text or whether they disagree. They might say the text is weak, irrelevant, important, valid, well written, etc, etc. So a critique is basically an evaluation and always includes opinions about another piece of the te of text. So this is where someone evaluates a piece of text based on its so a critique, basically, it's an evaluation. It's where you give your opinions and you say, this is how I feel about this text, whether it did a good job at what it was meant to do or not. So you can have your opinions as a speaker in a critique, not so in a summary. A summary is exclusively what's happening in a piece of writing that you're just retelling, in, not even in your own words, just abbreviated form. Here's an example of a critique this about the three little pigs. So you can compare it to the... Um, former critique about the three little pigs. This story is well written and provides some interesting details about the pigs and how they built their homes. Furthermore, I enjoy the message that if you work hard, you will be safer than if you are lazy. However, I did not like the part where the wolf ate the two brothers pigs because it was too violent and the scenes are too graphic. So there you're really critiquing the material of the text rather than just writing what happened in the story. So this is your I Explore video over summary and critique. Not the same thing. You need to know the basic differences and how to recognize one from the other. We'll explore these ideas more in class. Remember to turn to the front of your book and fill out your table of contents with page number, page 38, for summary versus critique and the title of the lesson. Have a great day.